Welcome to video four of how to use template.com to make passive income with Xe, Shopify, or WordPress. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the template dashboard and show you some cool tips and tricks, so make sure to watch this video to the end. If you ever get stuck and can't find the next video on the playlist, all you need to do is click on the description area below this video to see the link to the following video and so on. These instructions will be the same for each video. Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to turn your passions into profits, please subscribe. I upload weekly videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be the first one notified of any new video. Let's head over to my computer to get started. So here we are from the back end and this is my dashboard on template.com and this is how it's gonna look for you, especially if you are just starting out. Now keep in mind that I do recommend watching this template admin introduction video here. It actually has a video with an actual account that has orders and sales. So this will give you a good perspective of how the actual dashboard would look with an actual account that has sales. Now for the purpose of this video, because I don't have template, I did sign up so I could show you how to use template. So you will see that mines have zero revenue, zero orders, um, everything will be just in zeros. But let's go ahead and walk you through the entire dashboard. And then I wanna show you a cool trick all the way at the end on the settings section. So this is the dashboard. This is what you would normally see when you log in and it will have your revenue. It will have any orders you have gotten, average sales, your recent orders, your top five products and user growth. Now you could change this by just seeing the day, the last seven days, last 30 days, three months and 12 months. So this is really nice because you could compare in a year from now how you're doing or just look at the last 30 days if you wanted just to compare from 30 days to three months and see the difference. Now, when you go to stats in here, you're gonna be able to see your revenue for the day and you can also change this to orders for the day. And then over here on the right hand side, it has the revenue you have made for that day, the orders, the average sale, the average per day. And you could also change this right here from today, yesterday to any of these specific settings, or you could customize specific dates. Down here, it will have new and returning customers, your top categories. And then down here, we'll have your top performing products, which is really nice. So you could kind of look at all of this to see what's working and what's not working. Right here, you will get all of your orders. So this is basically just a rundown of every single order you have ever gotten. Assets is where you go to create your templates. Um, so make sure that you browse through all of these individually. Billing, I won't click on it because it does have my credit card information, but for billing is where you would be able to change your billing payment, where you could downgrade or upgrade your account, and where you could cancel your template account if you needed to. Now, this is the one that I wanted to show you that's really important. So it gives you the option that when you create any type of template for your customer, that you could actually set an expiration date. So you could say, no, I want the customer to use this file as many times as they want to, it would never expire, or you could have an expiration date. And you could choose how long after purchase. So you could do one year, two years, or less. I used to do one year. This will be ultimately your choice. And then here we'll say limit template download. So how many times would you like them to download the file? Five times, 10, 15, 20, 25, or unlimited. Now keep in mind that whatever you select here, if you sell this on your WordPress, if you sell this on your Shopify or even Xe, make sure that you add these disclaimers in your actual listing description of the product so people know beforehand. But you know what I would do is I would keep it unlimited unless you're scared of people stealing your products. Maybe you could do five or 10, um, but I usually kept it one year unlimited and that's how I did it. And then right here it says show background images to customers. This is up to you if you wanna do that. I usually do leave it on. Um, so keep in mind that whatever you end up selecting here, make sure that you add a disclaimer on your listing description of your product 
so people are aware of that. But the dashboard is really easy to use. I really like their dashboard. It gives you a lot of information. And this is very great, especially this one here, because it gives you a lot of information that you could use to create additional products um, that are performing already well on your templates. And maybe you could create a robust line of additional products of that particular design based on the information that you gather. So make sure that you go ahead, log in, play around with the different settings. And if you have any questions, leave them right below the video. I'll see you on the next video.